Hello everyone, JBM Travels here, the true UK traveller and today I'm off to Coventry. We are going to be doing a hotel room review of the Britannia Hotel Coventry Centre. Centre. To get it right. So I'm starting off the hotel review here on this train from Houston to actually it's going to Birmingham but we're going to Coventry like I said before and it's rated this hotel on Google 2.9 out of 5 stars 2.5 on TripAdvisor and it's rated 6.3 on Booking.com which is pleasant it has some really bad reviews and some medium reviews some okay reviews and some good reviews so I shall find out if it is really the worst hotel to visit I've stayed at Britannia hotels before and they are not so good we will read a couple of reviews at the end of the video so I will see you when I'm there so hello and welcome to this room review of the Britannia Hotel in Coventry. I've already done the intro, but you're getting a second intro. And I'm now in the hotel, so let's begin. So here we have our door with our fire information guide on it. There's no floor pan, which is a disappointment. You have your door with your lock and this fire information again on it. You have two light switches here. I think maybe an alarm or something. I don't really know what it is. You have this big cupboard, chest of drawers, with not one, but two mirrors. Let's open it up. You have loads of hangers extra pillows, I will not use that stuff doesn't look the newest you have an iron which I'm surprised about because usually you have to arthur it that's not straight you have some shelving space up there coming into the bathroom I'm not so keen on this sinking display thing, the sink is not my type of thing but that might be because it's old looking. You have this towel rack, which is a towel heater. You have shaver thing here only. You could also plug in your toothbrush to charge it. You have a toilet here. You have a flush. You have your hot water. You have the cold water. You have your shower. Don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to turn the light off. Probably can't even see that. You have a towel down here. You have your body wash, but that's empty, so that loses the point. Here you have your bed. You have two single beds, very good, very good. You have two lights each side. Light switches which are very handy, a nice picture. The floor is very clean. Now, let's talk about this chair. You should be able to see there is loads of dirt marks on it. I would not sit on it whatsoever. It is like stained to hell. You got this press for your clothes. Now, coming along here. This one's not as bad, but it is bad. This 
this is dirty, don't know if you can see the dirt in here. So it loses another point. But you'll be presently surprised when you see this one. They bothered to clean this one. Really clean compared to the other ones. I've been using that hairdryer rather than that hairdryer. See, they've cleaned them. There's a tiny bit of dirt. They've cleaned them, there's a hole in that one. Now we come to what I don't like about the room, which is this. That is chewing gum. They need to need to clean here. It is filthy. I thought there was more chewing gum. Right, it is just there, the chewing gum. It is filthy. Quite clean down there. Not so clean on here, but it's alright. You got a window. Let's see if I can open it. That's your view. Coming back over here, we have your room. Now let me talk about it. So, does the room pass? For starters, yes. Is it COVID safe? You'll find out later, outside when I talk more about this hotel. Or... Now, let's score it out of 10. So we're going to start off with the cleanliness. That's a 7 out, 7.1 out of 10. Not the cleanest, not the worst. It is also a 7, it's a, style is a 7 out of 10. Feel for the room is a 6 out of 10. Room smell is a 6.8. 8 out of 10, not the bad, not the worst, not, not that bad. What else can I say about it? The furniture is a 6.5 out of 10. The feel of the room is a 6.5 out of 10. Like the um, beds get a 7 out of 10. But wait. They get 7.5, they are very, very comfortable, but because of that one thing, I'm only giving it a 7.5 out of 10. What else can I say about it? The TV is good, but it's not that clean. It gets a 6 out of 10. The bathroom gets a... I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10, but no. It is very clean, so I'm going to give it a 6.8 6 out of 10. Overall, I'm going to give it a 6.9 out of 10. Now, I'm not going to talk about this hotel outside, actually. I'm going to leave it with a, is it COVID safe? Yes, it gets a 7.2 for COVID safe. So overall, including that, it's going to get a 7 out of 10. So, are the reviews bad? Yes. And I will be reading some reviews, like I said at the end, when I go somewhere else. So, this is not the end of the video, so stay tuned. Hello again everyone. Sadly, I haven't done an outro for this video yet, but it is now here, the outro. And I'm going to read you a few reviews, but before, I will say... That is rated 2.5 on TripAdvisor out of 5, 2.9 out of 5 on Google, and 6.3 out of 10 on Bookings.com.
I'm going to read you some terrible reviews. Well, just the titles of them. So here it goes. Good location, gross hotel. So bad, it's almost good. What a nightmare. Wish we had known this before booking. I'm going to read you this review. One of the worst hotels anywhere ever. Stay away from this dump. Toilets don't work, showers don't work, rooms are worn and dirty with some broken furniture. Lifts are filthy, customer service is not excellent. So you get the gist of this hotel, but I did rate it a 7 out of 10, I believe. So, apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.